It's difficult to navigate within the different styles and trends of photography without understanding its origin. By definition, the photograph is an image made by the effect of light on a chemical substance. But what was the need which created the first photo? To understand it, we have to go back. No, I mean way back to the 16th century's Renaissance painters. They famously developed new techniques and new artistic sensibilities. Painters like Johannes Vermeer, van Eyck and even Caravaggio were accused of using camera obscuras for manipulation. Allegedly, they all cheated by using optical techniques to make their masterpieces. But what is camera obscura exactly? And why did the Renaissance painters need it? Camera obscura, also known as pinhole image, is a natural optical phenomenon. If you are interested, just Google how to transform a room into a camera obscura. You will find tutorials and more amazing example images. Camera obscura could be anything, a box, a tent, or a room with a small hole on one side. The light from outside passes through the hole and strikes the surface inside and shows a projected image of the outside scenery. The image will be inverted upside down and reserved left to right by preserving the color and perspective. The painters saw how good these devices were at transforming a three-dimensional world onto a two-dimensional surface. So they started to use it more and more to create realistic paintings on canvas. The next milestone was when Professor Johann Heinrich Schulz accidentally created the first photosensitive compound. The first or the earliest non-surviving photograph was taken by Nipse in 1826. In the beginning, the exposure took several hours. Two years after Nipsev's death, Louis Daguerre developed a special process which shortened the exposure time to minutes. A shoeshine boy and his customer were the first people to be photographed, appearing as details of this boulevard scene. The daguerreotype process made photography available for larger audiences. Studios opened and the wealthy elite had an opportunity to have their portraits. Sitting for a daguerreotype required the model to hold the pose perfectly for at least 20 seconds or even minutes. To support the posture, they created a metallic head brace, so it was easier for the models to stay still. Before the daguerreotype, the elite's only option was to have their portrait painted, which we know were usually over-idealistic. Not surprisingly, it didn't take too long for the first retouching process to appear. In 1841, William Henry Fox Talbot invented the first photographic process to create a negative that could generate multiple copies. Just five years later, the first known act of photographic retouching was performed. Photographers and retouchers scrapped the negatives with knives, drew or painted on top of it, and even pasted multiple negatives together to create one single print. The first great portrait photographer was Nada. He created portraits of the French elite, poets, actresses. He became famous by capturing his model's personalities and real characteristics. It was the beginning of the celebrity culture as people started to buy photographs of celebrities, not just their own pictures. In 1888, the first amateur camera with raw film was invented. The Kodak box camera's slogan was You press the button, we do the rest. To develop the film, the photographer had to send back the whole camera to the factory. In 1913, Leica's compact 35mm camera enabled photojournalists to capture and document events which were not possible before. Scenes of human drama were captured all over the world and photojournalism was born. The first fashion magazines Harper's Bazaar and Vogue were founded in the late 1800 and both were illustrated by hand. In 1913, Condé Nast hired Baron Adolphe de Meyer to shoot portraits of models, actresses for Vogue. He became the magazine's first full-time photographer. As the printing techniques evolved, fashion magazines became capable of combining fashion photos with print. Illustrators were replaced by fashion photographers and fashion photography was born.